you are welcome to the lecture today. Today we shall be discussing or solving inequality. Unlike the linear equation, the inequality has its solution with a range. Like I said, unlike the unlike the linear equation, the inequality has its solution, final solution with a range. So we shall be discussing inequality today and we shall be taking questions pertaining to inequality. Let's take some of the questions to treat this topic. This is inequality. I want you to pay adequate attention because this topic we are going to take some examples and I'm going to give you one or two to try your hands on. So I want you to pay adequate attention as we pull through this topic. Solve the inequality one. Solve the inequality half into three x minus two is less than five. Before we solve this particular question, I want to introduce you. Before we solve this particular question, I want to introduce you to some of the inequality signs we shall be using here. inequality signs or the properties of inequalities. If you have the sign like this, if you have a sign like this, this implies less than. If you have a sign like this, this implies less than or equal to. If you have a sign like this, this implies greater than. Then if you have a sign like this, this implies greater than or equal to. I hope you can see the signs. If you use your hands, use your left hand this way, it's telling you less than. You see the sign of the hands. This is less than. Then where there is a bar, a cross, uh, a sort of a, a bar under the, the lower part of it, it shows less than or equal to. You use your right hand for greater than or greater than or equal to so that you will be used to the signs. I hope you 
follow you. Now, there are other signs like not equal to. We have other signs like this. If you have a sign like this, we we'll say this implies not greater than. Then if we have a sign like this, this implies not less than. Other signs I will introduce you to as need arrives. Are you following? So if there is any other sign we shall be using, as we begin to solve questions, I will continue to explain those signs and what they mean and how we apply them. Please, I want you to follow effectively in this lecture. With this, at least, you will be, you, you will be attuned with the basic inequality signs. So take down this while we solve the question. Bring it very closely. Take it down. You pause and take down. Now let's take the question. Okay, there is a question here already on the board. Let's solve the question. Solve the inequality half multiplied by three open bracket three x minus two close bracket is less than five. Now, if you watch here now, this is not equal to here. This is less than five. So we are going to solve now. The first step we are going to take here is this. We are going to begin this simplification here, excuse me, <coughs> by dividing both sides by the coefficient of 3x minus 2. And what is the coefficient of 3x minus 2 here is half. So we're going to say this over half, and here over half. So that this half here will cancel out half here. We we'll now have 3x minus 2 is less than 5 divided by 1 over 2. Is there any confusion? to put you through. Now, come here again. You know that if you have something like this, 2x is equal to 6. We divide by the coefficient of x to make x the subject of the formula. And what is the coefficient of x here? The number multiplying x, which is that is the coefficient of x, and that number is 2. So we say this over 2 here over 2, so that 2 will cancel out to remaining x. x will be equal to 2 here, 1 here, 3. x will be equal to 3. But since half cannot divide these things straight away just like this, even if you do, you are, only when you understand the, the technicality of doing that. So what we are going to do it in a more simpler way, so that somebody who is learning will understand. That is what I mean here. So, we are going to do it in a more simple way. Here. This is 3x minus 2 and the coefficient, that is the number multiplying this number in brackets is half. It's less than or equal to 5. So we want to divide both sides by half so that we can cancel out, so that half will cancel out this half. 
there. This one now we are going to also divide it to get a result. So half, cancel out half, we remain 3x minus 2, which is this. It's less than, remember the signs I introduced you to, this is less than 5. So it's, it's also divided by half, which is, this is a division sign, divided by half. So remember your Bodmas rule. Your Bodmas rule says once you have a division sign, you change it to multiplication and turn this upside down. Make, have an, make an inverse of this. Now, here we're going to have 3x minus 2 is less than 5 times. When we do an inverse of half, it's going to be 2 over 1. And 2 over 1 is just 2. So we have 3x minus 2 is less than 5 times 2, 10. <clears throat> now, if we collect like terms, we're going to have 3x if minus 2 crosses over here, it's going to be less than 10 plus 2, which is 3x is less than 12. Then x is less than, let us take a step here. Let me not go one way. Now, 3x is less than 12. Are you getting confusion at this stage? Now, if there is no confusion at this stage, the next thing we are going to do is divide by the coefficient of x. And what is the coefficient of x here? 3. So we are going to divide both sides by what? 3. So that 3 cancel 3, 1. 3 cancel 3, 1. 3 here, 1 here, 4. So we are going to have x is less than 4 as our final answer. As you can see, you see how we have arrived at this answer. x is less than there are situations where this sign will change. When we get to that situation, I will let you know and I will explain why the sign changes. We copy down the solution to the question while we take another question. We bring it very closely so that it will be more legible. We focus on it. Now let's take another question. Solve the inequality two over three into 5x plus 2 is greater than or equal to 8 is greater than or equal to 8 now in this particular question if you watch here we are going to do the same thing we are going to divide by the coefficient of 5x plus 2. And what is the coefficient of 5x plus 2? We are going to divide both sides to make 5x plus 2 the subject of the formula here now. The subject here. Now, by doing that, we are going to say this divided by 2 over what? 3. Here by 2 over what? 3. It is either we multiply both sides by 3 over 2, or we divide both sides by 2 over 3, so that 2 over 3 will cancel out 2 over 3. Is there a confusion? It's simple. Just look at the logical sequence there. So that here we are going to have 5x plus 2 is greater than or equal to 8 divided by 2 over 3 and you're going to have 5x plus 2 is greater than or equal to 8 times now when you change this division sign to multiplication you are going to turn it an inverse of this which will change to 3 over 2 and when you do that 2 here will be 1 2 here will be what? 
4 and 4 times 3 is 12. So we are going to have 5x plus 2 is greater than or equal to 4 times 3 is what? 12. I hope you're following. Now, if you are following, then we continue. We are going to collect like terms. Here we are going to have 5x. When plus 2 crosses the inequality sign, it changes to minus 2, which is 12 minus 2. Here we are going to have 5x is greater than or equal to what? 10. Is greater than or equal to 10. Now we are going to make x the subject here by dividing by the coefficient of x. And what is the coefficient of x here? If you watch here, the coefficient of x is 5. So we are going to divide both sides by 5. Now this is 5 over 5 here, over 5 here. So that 5 cancel out 5, 5 here, 1 here, 2. Our x will be greater than or equal to 2. That's the final answer there. X will be greater than or equal to 2. So now move this way so that you focus on this, take down the notes, and as we move to the next question. Now let's take another question. Solve the inequality. Two is less than or equal to half. Okay, one over three into two x minus five. is less than or equal to 3. We have 2 is less than or equal to 1 over 3 in bracket 2x minus 5 is less than or equal to 3. Now, you see that we have the inequality sign here and we also have the inequality sign here. Whatever you do to this side, you do to this side. Now, if this place has not been had not been uh, has not been here, we'll say we we'll divide by the coefficient of two x minus five, which is one over three, and we we'll just do that. So, but since we have here, we we'll also do the same. There are other means of doing that, but we we'll also do the same so that you understand the sequence, the logical sequence. With time, you now develop other technicalities involved in solving these type of uh, questions pertaining to inequality. So we are going to say that we are going to divide both sides by the coefficient of 2x minus 5. So that we'll have, watch here now, 2 over 1 over 3 is less than or equal to 1 over 3 into 2x minus 5 in bracket is less than or equal to 3 over 1, this is 1 over 3, over 1 over 3. Is there any confusion here? I said we are dividing by the coefficient of watch. If we had not, if the question had been this, one over three into two x minus five is less than or equal to three, and we say we are dividing by the coefficient of two x minus five. I think we just did this is one over three, and here one over three. You understand that? So the same thing we are doing here. 
2 divided, we have 2 because of the inequality sign here and the inequality sign here. Because of this inequality sign and also this inequality sign. So, we are dividing this side by 1 over 3, the middle one by 1 over 3, and the other one here by 1 over 3. Your aim is to remove the coefficient here, to cancel out the coefficient. Now, that is what we have done. So that 1 over 3 will cancel out 1 over 3. So this will be what? 2 divided by, this, this is 1 over 3 rather, uh, 2 divided by 1 over 3 is less than or equal to 2x minus 5 is less than or equal to 3 divided by 1 over 3. So that this will be 2 times 3 over 1 is less than or equal to 2x minus 5 is less than or equal to 3 times 3 over 1. You see now the logical sequence there. I hope you're following. Can you see that? Now, all we did here is change this to multiplication sign, then turn this upside down. It's less than or equal to 2x minus 5, which is this. Then, it's less than or equal to, this is 3. This is a division sign, we change the multiplication sign and turn this upside down. So that 2 times 3 will be what? 6. It's less than or equal to 2x minus 5 is less than or equal to 3 times 3 is what? 9. Now, let me introduce you to something again. You know that if we, if this one had been this, if the question had been in this form, I follow you. Now, if the question had been in this form, this is what we are going to have here. 2x minus 5 is less than 9. Then we we'll say let minus 5 cross here to become 2x is less than or equal to 9 cos 5. Isn't it? Yes. By making 2x the subject of the formula. So with what we uh, with how we started here, anything we do to this side, we're going to do to the other side. So, if minus 5 is crossing this way, minus 5 will also cross this way. So that if minus 5 crosses here, it changes to plus 5. If, if it crosses here, it also changes to what? Plus 5. So we're going to say 6 plus 5 is less than or equal to 2x. Is less than or equal to 9 plus 5. Because the minus 5 here has crossed and has crossed. In other words, another way of doing this is say we add plus 5 to both sides. Are you getting me? If you add plus 5 here, add plus 5 here, add plus 5 here, minus 5 plus 5 will be 0, remaining this. That is another way. Minus 5 plus 5 will be what? 0. So that this will be 6 plus 5, 9 plus 5 will remain. 6 plus 5 is 11. It's less than or equal to 2x. It's less than or equal to 9 plus 5 is what? 14. Are you following? So, watch here. Alright. Here we have 11 is less than or equal to 2x and is less than or equal to 14. We still want to make x here stand alone. So that our answer will be it will have a range. And for us to do that, we are going to, if we had this as our question, 2x is less than or equal to 14. You know we are going to divide by the coefficient of x to get, this will be over 2, here will be over 2. So that we as we cancel out, x will be less than or equal to 7. You see it? 
But in this case, we have a two range ranges here. So whatever we do this side, we are going to do this side. And we are going to do here. So we are going to do what? Divide, say this is, divide both sides by the coefficient of x, which is 11 over 2, 2x two over 2, 14 over 2. So that this will give us, 11 over 2 will give us 5.5 is less than or equal to 2 will cancel out to 2 here is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 2 here 1 here 7 is less than or equal to 7 this is the range 5.5 is less than or equal to x and x is less than or equal to 7 so this is the answer to the, or the solution to this uh, question. I want you to watch very closely, take down the solution to the question as we go to the next question. Any of them you do not understand properly, then you have to replay it and see if you get it right. Where you do not, then you pick up your cell phone and ring me. I think I will guide you. You know what? Instead of solving another one, let me okay, let me take one more before I give you the questions you are going to try your hands on. Let's take this question here. Fourteen X fourteen X plus sixteen is greater than or equal to seven X plus three. Fourteen x plus sixteen is greater than or equal to seven. Is greater than or equal to seventeen x, not seven x. Seventeen x plus three into x plus four into x plus four. Now, here we are asked to solve the inequality. Here we are going to find the range for the values of x for which this inequality holds. So, in this case, we are going to begin this way. Here we have 14x plus 16 is less than or equal to 17x plus, open the brackets here, 3 times x will give us 3x. 3 times plus 4 will give us 12. Having done that, let us collect our like terms. If we have this 14x here, if this is plus 17x, if it crosses the inequality sign, we have minus 17x. If the, this is 3x, if it crosses the inequality sign, it changes to minus 3x. Is greater than or equal to, we have 12 here already. If this thing comes over, it becomes minus 16. Remember, we've just connected like terms. This is an inequality sign here. As this one's cross, cross over, the, the sign changes, the posit they are positives here, because they have from positive signs here. As they cross, they change. And as this one moves over to the other side, it also what? Changes. So that if we have 14x minus 17x, watch. 14x minus 17x. 
17 is greater than 14. So the answer must be negative if you check it. 14, the difference there is 3. So it's going to be minus 3x. Then minus 3x minus 3x is going to be what? Minus 6x. If you follow, if you know your law of signs very well, it's going to give you minus what? 6x. 14x minus 17x. Because 17 is greater than 14, the answer must be in the negative. The negative, you added negative to negative is negative. You are, it's not division, it's not multiplication. But when you add, negative plus negative is negative. A debtor plus a debtor is equal to a debtor. Or if you add one debtor plus another debtor, they will turn to debtors. The debt is still there. I don't know if you're following me. Now, this is greater than or equal to 12 minus 16. Again, 16 is greater than 12. So 12 minus 16, because 16 is greater than 12, the answer will be, the difference is 4, but the answer will be in the negative minus 4. But as we divide both sides by the coefficient of x to make x the subject of the formula, the coefficient of x here is minus 6. So we're going to have x. Now, because we are dividing by a negative sign, this sign will do what? Change to minus 4 all over minus 6. Minus will cancel out. Minus will cancel out minus. Then our answer will and the 2 here is 2. 2 here is 3. So our answer will be x is less than or equal to 2 over 3. Once a negative sign is divided, the sign will do what? The inequality sign will do what? Change. I repeat, once a negative sign is divided, the division and there is negative sign in any division you are making, the sign inequality sign must do what? Change. Once the coefficient of x has a negative sign and you want to divide by the coefficient of x, the inequality sign must what? Change. If it is less than, it will change to greater than. If it is greater than, it will change to less than. So this is the answer to this question. To watch the board now, we have about six questions here, and I want you to try your hands on them. Play back what we have done, under inequality and uh, try your hands on them.